Hello makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So this video is going to be a first impression on a few different things from the Profusion Cosmetics Holiday Collection, which I have, like, all the sets sitting here. Um, got quite a few things to test out today, and they did send me over a PR package, which I was really grateful for. And also the palette that I'm going to be using today is very, very intriguing to me. So this is the Temptress palette, and it's really cute. It has, like, the glitter lining all around it. And then here is what the inside looks like. I'm living for the middle row, like the different like lilac tones and the blues, and then like there's like some cool tones. I don't know, I feel like this is a really pretty palette and it's swatched really, really well and it's super affordable. It has a brush, so I wanted to give that a try today. They did send over a palette, I think it might have been called like Merlot Eyes or something like that. It was more like really soft muted berry tones and I just gave that to my mom because I didn't see myself using it a whole ton. And I, next I have the beautiful brows set which is um, light to medium and I'm excited to try this out. It has a brush, um, a brow definer, and then some powder. I'll probably stick to the powder and like this set today and I'll try out the brush which is why I don't have any brows on yet. And then they did send, this is their lips to go in the shade bare so it's a nude lip set. There's a velvet matte lipstick, a lip liner, and a lip strobe. I think, I don't know if I'm going to love the color. The packaging makes the color look funny, but I feel like I really like the packaging at the same time because it's going to be so easy to tell like what color it is. Um, because sometimes when things get lost and it's like, I just feel like a plain black packaging or something, you don't know what color it is. So I like how easy that is. And then the last thing here, this is their mixed metals set in the shade Silver Sparkle. Just looks like this. You probably can't see it that well. Um, but there is a palette in here, and I'm not going to play with those eyeshadows today just because I have all the other eyeshadows to play with. But I did swatch them, and overall they felt like okay. They didn't swatch amazing, but they didn't swatch horrible either. But I figured I would try this blush and this highlighter. This highlighter kind of reminds me of the Amrezy highlighter. Um, and then there's a glitter liner, I think, in here, or a glitter topper. I can't read the writing sparkling eyeliner I think so maybe I'll try that out and then there's also a highlighting brush so I figured I would kind of dip between all the different collections so let's just go ahead and jump on in. in the brow set the like eye eyebrow definer pencil looks like the Anastasia one it has like that kind of weird like edge shape which I'm really not like a huge fan of um so I may try that but just not today I don't know I feel like eyebrows are kind of risky when you try something new, but I feel like powder, how hard can that be? So there's a brow primer, there's like a little light like highlighter, a taupe, and then a soft brown. So I think, I don't know, maybe I'll like try the soft brown. I'm going to try the primer first, okay. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the primer, just warm it up on my finger and just kind of run that through my brows. Am I the only one who gets so annoyed when brow brushes don't have spoolies? Like, how can you expect me to not use a spoolie? So, like I said, just dipping into soft brown a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and fill my brows in. I was especially excited to try this just to see if I do like it. It'd be a good, like, affordable brow option. I mean, I don't really do, like, a whole lot of ton of, like, I don't do a ton of videos that are, like, only talking about drugstore, only doing drugstore products. I kind of just use whatever I like and I kind of go back and forth. I have some drugstore products I'm obsessed with and I have some high-end products I'm obsessed with. So it's not like that big of a deal to me, but I just thought it'd be nice to have. Actually, that color looks pretty good. It's definitely more of like a warm tone brown. So it's more of a softer brow, but I do like how it turned out. It was pretty easy to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my Essence eyeshadow primer. Just throw a little bit on. So just to show you guys really quickly because this palette is kind of annoyingly large to bring up and down and up and down, I'm just gonna show you what colors I'm gonna use. So I'm going to start off with this light purple. Uh, I'm gonna use this bright blue and then I'm gonna use this deep blue and then I'm gonna use this light green and then I'm gonna use this sorcery shade right here. It's a silver. So I'm just starting off with that light purple in the crease to be the transition. Do you see how pigmented that is? Holy crap. I just got it like all over my face, so hopefully it wipes away easily, but pigment is definitely there. That is seriously such a good purple. Like, no patchiness, so much pigment, so easy to blend. Like, 
very very happy with that so i'm going to take the bright blue on that same brush and try to be a little bit more precise just starting off in the outer v and then like lightly bringing it through the crease All right, so I'm taking the matte deep navy and I'm just going to tap that on the outer V. Just going in with a little bit of product and kind of blending. Again, blending is super easy, not looking good. I'm going to go ahead and take some more of Spell, that light purple, and I'm just going to blend over just because I want it to be a little bit more like purple popping out instead of the purple fading away if that makes any sense at all now for the part i'm most excited about i'm going to go ahead and take that mint shade geode and i'm going to put that all over my lid see how it does with this brush that comes with the palette i feel like it'll definitely look better with your finger but i figure i'll try the brush first it's so glittery and just beautiful I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit on my finger because I feel like the finger, the warmth of it, just picks up the product so much better. I'm just going to kind of tap that over. Yeah, you see that? The difference is crazy. You might want to spray your brush or use a glitter glue because I did get a little bit of fallout. So now let me find pencil brush here. No, that's really small. Here, okay, normal size. I'm going to take a pencil brush, I'm just going to go into the shade Shell, that purple again, and go along the inner part of my lower lash line right here. And I think I'm actually going to take the purple next to it, this one called Alchemy, and I'm going to do that on the rest of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a touch of the navy and put that right here. So I wiped off that pencil brush and I'm going into the shade Sorcery, that's silver. And I'm going to pop that onto my inner corner right here. And I'm going to kind of like just blend it out a little bit and let it kind of fade into the green. So first impression on the eyeshadow palette, obviously I only used a handful of shades today, but I am really impressed with the quality. I think it was really easy to use, very pigmented. I think, like, the purple in this palette, Shell, like, is seriously worth the palette alone. Like, it's so nice if you don't have that kind of color, like, that light purple in your collection. I think it's a really good one. So, liking that. Alright, so here's what the glitter liner looks like. Let me just do a little... Yeah, it's, like, a really just, like, more, um, sparse, sparse glitter. Does that even make sense? I don't know. But I'm going to pick up a little bit of that, and I'm going to pop that on... My inner corner over the silver just to add like a little bit of glitter to this look obviously this brush is not the best for popping something on the inner corner but that's okay you could definitely use another brush if you're not lazy like me so now let's go ahead and test out the face products in this little palette this is actually a pretty cute size um, is what it looks like kind of has like that really reflective annoying mirror um, when you have a ring light so so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this shade right here called whisper I don't know it kind of seems like more of like it doesn't seem like the, the blush and the highlight really go with this palette because it's pretty cool toned and then you've got like a peachy like a soft peach blush and a gold highlight you think that it would be like a cool tone that's pigmented a cool tone blush and a cool tone highlight to go with those kind of shades. Oh my gosh, okay. So, really pigmented. More pigmented than I was expecting. It's blending out okay. Next time I would go in softer with my brush. Just gonna go ahead and take my go to Shop Mise highlighting brush and take the shade Miracle right here. Okay, so the glow to this shade is really beautiful, like when the light hits it. But you can see when I turn my face back, it's a little bit too dark for me. So I'm kind of gonna blend this backwards a little bit, like more of a blush topper. And then I'm going to throw another highlighter on top. I've got a new highlighter shade from Love Lux Beauty. It's called Ice Crystal. Um, I've had it for like a few weeks now. I haven't used it yet. But 
it's kind of got like purple and blue and whatnot in it. I don't know why. I just feel like that reminded me of this eye look. So I want to use that today. This is the little profusion brush that came with that set. I'm just going to go ahead and try and use that and see how that goes. It might be meant for eyeshadow, but I think you could use it for highlighter as well if you want to do like a really precise highlight. Ooh. Okay. Very like purpley blue. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to blend that out too. I don't know. So I feel like this will probably, I bought this thinking it would probably be really good for the inner corner. I'm just going to use the brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit so it's not quite a streak. It's still going to be pretty intense. <laughs> so it's definitely not the best option for the cheekbones just because when I look fit, like front forward, you can see like a blue patch right here just from the undertone of the highlighter. <laughs> So, oh, you live and you learn. I'm just going to go ahead and take the blush brush and just kind of blend a little bit more. Okay, that looks better. Yeah, okay, I can live with that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and quickly add some mascara and probably some eyeliner or something, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched the lippies real quick just to show you guys. Here's the lipstick, the lip liner, and the lip gloss. The lipstick definitely has more of a pink tone than I thought it was going to. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Same disclaimer I've said a lot recently is that my lips are extremely dry. It just happens during winter. I've been trying to drink more water. I've been applying chapstick like all day, all day honestly, and it's still like this. So it's just something I live with. All right, so that shade, a little more pink than I would like it to be. Oh, man, I just realized I went in with the lipstick first and I forgot to use the, li the lip liner. Jeez, can I still use it? We'll still use it. We'll try it out. I'm just, like, lighting my lips and, like, slightly, like, feathering the lip line inward so it's not super obvious. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do a touch of the lip strobe. So there's the overall lipstick. Honestly, I think it would be fine with a different eye look, probably. But I thought it was going to be a little bit more like true nude. So it's very comfortable, it looks fine on the lips, but I'll probably end up switching it up whenever I finish this video. So that's the overall look. I'm just going to go ahead and fix my hair up real quick and tell you guys my final thoughts. Oops. Alright, so this is the finished look, and I really, really love how the eyes turned out. I feel like the Temptress palette is definitely the standout item to me from everything that I tested out today. I just feel like this is so, so beautiful and really good quality, and I like the colors in here. I just love that there's like the row of like colorful shades, the row of like deepy, deepy, deep, um, like grungy cool tones, and then a row of like more warm tone neutrals. I feel like you could really do so many different looks with this palette, and it does retail for only like $10. So I think that would be what I would recommend most if you were kind of looking into picking this up already or if it's something you're interested in. Um, it kind of makes me tempted for the. Wonderlust palette that they came out with which is like in this same packaging and it's a little bit more like bright and colorful Not that I need any more eyeshadow palettes, but I do have confidence that the formula is pretty good I also do really like how the uh, brow powder ended up looking I feel like this is something I could definitely see myself continuing to use a lot um, I love brow powders. I'm actually my holy grail one is the Anastasia one and you can see I've hit pan in both shades so like I said, definitely can see myself continuing to use that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.